I take great pleasure in welcoming to Into the Fire, an awesome young gun with a big future on, on, on the footy field, a super guy going into this year's draft, and I think a top tenner for sure. The younger bro of champ, Elijah, Oliver Holland. Nice to meet you, mate. Nice to meet you, LJ. Awesome to have you on, buddy. No, well, thanks so much for having me. All good. Well, big year this year, Ollie. You're a serious talent with a big chance of going high in the draft. How are you trekking so far this year? Yeah, going really well. Um, body, my body's really good. Um, going pretty strong. Um, I've been able to, I've had great facilities here at school um, and pre-season as well. So I spent a week with the cats, which was pretty, pretty awesome experience. And um, no, pre-season's going really well and can't wait to get stuck into the, into the season. Yeah, awesome. Sounds like having a bit of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you grew up in a household with a father who played AFL footy and a brother touted as an AFL footballer and now drafted. Do you feel any pressure, buddy? Because you shouldn't, mate. You're elite in your own right. <laughs> um, no, thanks. Thanks for that, LJ. But right. no, nah, no pressure at all. Um, I feel like I just go back to the basics and play footy for the reason why I love playing there, and that's for just pure enjoyment and pure fun. So not no real pressure at all. Yeah, it's a great, great, great game, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So growing up with big brother Elijah must have made the old household pretty competitive. Did you hold your own own one-on-ones? Oh, yeah. Growing up with Elijah, yeah, any sport became extremely competitive, whether it be yeah. um, playing basketball in the backyard, to footy, to cricket, um, whatever it was, it was extremely competitive. And I feel like, yeah, there were, there were times where he'd always get the um, – get up on me, but I, I had my times where I'd um, come and clutch and get a, get a little win, which was good. Um, yeah. But, yeah, no, nah, super competitive. Yeah, that's when you come up with the excuse that he's older than you. <laughs> 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 now, you were one of the standout bottom ages in the competition last year with the Bush Rangers. You're in for a big year this year. How's the team going to look this year, mate? Um, yeah, looking really strong at the Bushies. Um, yep. We've got some really good top ages this year and, um, and some really good over ages as well. So um, I'm super keen to get back and play with the Murray Bush Rangers. And yeah, it's had a pretty, pretty good season last year as a bottom ager. And um, yeah, keen to get back and play some footy with the Bushies. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Mm. Now you're also a great cricketer, is what I hear. How good are you? Come on, talk yourself up. Cricket is losing a future Aussie player, aren't they? <laughs> oh, not 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 quite an Aussie player. I think um, just similar to footy. I've always grown up playing um, footy as a as a kid, and um, over the last few years, I've sort of um, lent towards more footy. But um, yeah, it's good good having a um, having a bowl and a hit with some mates here at school. Yeah. But um, definitely not quite Aussie cricketer standard. Yeah, definitely glad you chose footy. <laughs> Okay, so let's tell everyone what you bring to the game. You do all the basics so well. You have elite clean hands, particularly in traffic. You can cover the ground as good as any, and your vision is like Superman. So with all these skills, what's the area of improvement for you? Um, well, thanks. Thanks for that compliment. Oh, good um, area of improvement for me, I think, is um, developing a little bit more of an inside midfield game. Um, I see myself playing through the midfield as um, as yeah, I can use my running ability as one of my good strengths, but then also um, being able to be super competitive um, inside inside the contest as a midfielder. And um, I think for me, just being able to um, just keep working on my strength um, as I progress over the year and hopefully um, having my name read out at the end of the year, hopefully I can progress with strength there as um, hoping to get to a, a club. Um, but yeah, that and I feel like leadership skills for me um, I love, would love to take on some leadership roles throughout the year and um, just have an impact where I can at any club, whether it's at school, um, the country, or even with the Bushies. Yeah, you have a bit of everything, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> we like that. Now, at 182 centimetres, you're a really nice height for a mid and a great around stoppages. Now, I know you're terrific around the ball. How are you pushing forward and kicking a snag? Um, yeah, I do, do like to try and get forward where I can. I don't, don't really get forward as that often, but where I do, I'd love to try and 
get a goal where I can. I, I guess yeah. everyone loves to try and kick a goal or two. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be something I'd love to um, be able to do this year is, um, as yeah, I try and make myself a little bit more versatile as a, as a midfielder. Yeah, everyone lo- loves a snack. Yeah. Now, rumour has it that you actually have four arms because no one has had the ability to pin your arms in a tackle. Come on, tell us. Now, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> Not quite. I, I think um, Paul Pascal um, for Call to Canada has yeah. managed to lay quite a few tackles on me. So oh. um, that's quite quite a compliment I'd take there, LJ. Yeah. You know, the one thing that I love is that you're awesome on the outside as well. Your burst out of the centre is dynamic and you find space better than Elon Musk. That's pretty hard. Is it the two aspects to your midfield game that makes you so hard to stop? Um, I feel like, yeah, being able to both play inside and outside as a midfielder um, adds, adds a, um, it's a big strength for my game. And I feel like if I can really um, embrace that and take that to the next level, I feel like I can um, potentially take my midfield game um, super far. I feel like I try and compare myself a little bit to Sam Walsh. Yeah. Um, and he's, he's an expert when it comes to um, managing both his inside and outside midfield craft. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, not bad to be compared to Sam Walsh, is it? No, it'd be, it'd be very nice to be able to play anything like what he would, and I'd try my best to watch as much footy of, of his as I can. Yeah, definitely. You got, to, you got to train with the Cats. How was that experience, and what did you take away from it? Yeah, it was incredible. Um, it was like living a, living a dream for a week at the Cats. Yeah. Um, I did it with um, a good mate of mine, Joe Clark, and... Um, yeah, it was an incredible experience. I spent um, heaps of time with some of the younger players. So we, for the first, for that week, we spent um, most of the time with the first year players who had just got drafted. Um, so it was awesome to be able to learn um, so much from them as well. And also so much from the um, really high, high level AFL players like Joel Selwood, Paddy Dangerfield, yeah. um, Mark Blitzards, just a few to name. But yeah. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. I think something that I really took away was um, how much work some of the players do behind the scenes and um, how much they do to get their body prepared for training as well. Um, I think that's something that I really took away from the week. Yeah, did you get a bit starstruck by anyone on the team? Definitely, definitely when I first um, shook Paddy Dangerfield and, and oh. Eddie Betts' hand because, um, yeah, Eddie, Eddie's a coach there now. Was, I was yeah. very starstruck. Um, but as the week progressed, um, they were both super welcoming and um, made, made the week really easy. Yeah. You'll play for Vic Country this year. What teammates should we be looking out for? And how do you think the guys will go? I think the SA boys will go all right this year. <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're all right there with the SA yeah. boys. They've got some um, good players, especially up forward with Harry Lemmy and Adam Diola in the midfield as well. But um, I think our Vic Country team will be very strong this year. We've got um, good all-round depth throughout the midfield, throughout our back line and forward line. But I definitely think, um, LJ, you should keep your eye on Mitch Sabowski and um, right. John T. Be back um, and Jai Clark. Keep I'll be keeping my eye on them. <laughs> good, good. Now, now, since Elijah got drafted to the Gold Coast Suns, have you been able to get any freebies? There has to be some benefits, surely. <laughs> Um, besides for a, um, a pair of shorts and a couple other like um, little t-shirts and stuff, um, not too much. He's been, um, he, he likes to keep a little bit of his own gear where he can, but um, yeah. I try my best to try and get whatever I can off him. That, that's still pretty cool though, get, getting yeah. some shorts and yeah. some t-shirts. Yeah. yeah it's- All right, let's ask some non-footy questions. What do you like to do in your spare time? Um, I love to get out and um, spend some time with some family friends. Um, as I'm in a boarding school, I go to school at Geelong Grammar. And so when I can, when I can get home um, to Aubrey Wodonga, I love to spend time with my family and friends. Um, and then also I love to play, I love to play some golf. Um, yeah. Growing up, I've always played some golf with Elijah and, and dad and also my younger brother, Ozzy. So I um, love to do, have a hit of golf as well where I can. Yeah, awesome. If you had to cook a meal, what would you impress someone with? Ooh. 
Um, I've grown up with a pretty good spaghetti bolognese re- recipe that um, my nana, nana taught me as a young kid. So I think I'd try and um, use that recipe of her, her special recipe um, yeah. and cook that up for, for a few mates or even a um, few mates that come around home. I think that, that'd be my go-to, I reckon. Yeah, bolognese is awesome. My mum actually cooked some pretty good bolognese. Shout out to her, by the way. That's good. (laughs) You get to go and play in any sport. What would you do best in, other than footy, of course? I would love to be able to play um, basketball or golf. I feel like it'd be nice to be as successful as some of those awesome basketballers and golfers and as quite quite a bit of money involved as well which would be nice yeah it would be what is your go-to video game oh i i used to love really love playing Fortnite back in the day oh yeah i was was a big Fortnite fan but i think these days it's probably probably fifa now i I don't don't really get to play it as much since i'm at school but when i do over over summer oh i glitched out a bit there sorry mate but yeah yeah FIFA's Sorry, but good, yeah, FIFA. It? Yeah. Quick little you or Elijah quiz. Who's the favourite child? Um, Elijah. Elijah? Yeah. Who would win a three-point shooting contest? Elijah as well. Oh, you're being modest here, are you? No, I've never, I've never been much of a shooter. I'd probably try and dribble my way around him and try and get get a nice layup in where he, he was probably a little bit more gutsy with his shots and he'd, he'd oh. take on the three points. Yeah, better in the paint then. Yeah. <laughs> who Who is or was a better student? Me. I'd say yeah. me. I like the honesty though. <laughs> <laughs> who spent more time looking at themselves in the mirror? Oh, Elijah. Yeah, I Definitely. can see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Could he bowl you out in cricket? What was that? Sorry. Could he bowl you out in cricket? You reckon? Yeah, definitely. He, right. especially in the backyard, he'd always tape up the tennis ball. He'd always put an extra bit of tape on the tennis ball and get get it swinging real nice, and it'd always get yeah. me. Yeah. Well, I absolutely love the Holland's family. All you guys are absolute legends, and it's been amazing to get to know you. Now I have the true contest for you. Your brother, with his knee injury, hasn't played a lot. I knew that you are only getting your chance now, but I'm going to give you my celebration, the best in the business, and see which one of you do it first. Don't let him beat you, legend. Here it is, the Into the Fire. Ooh. Pretty clean, right? to pull it. Yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. All right, sounds might good. Have to, might have to pull it out. Yeah, sounds good. I like it. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Ollie. Good luck for the year. And I can't wait to see all your childhood dreams come true. Keep in touch, mate, and can't wait to see you killing it this year. Thanks, LJ. It's been great talking. Awesome to have you on, buddy. Thanks, LJ.